Welcome to this video. Today I want to list what I believe to be the top five free anti-malware programs available. Now if you're looking for a video where I actually test antivirus or anti-malware programs against malware, I will post a link down below in the notes down in the video description to a full playlist where I do that with a bunch of different programs, so I recommend that you do check it out. Please note that I will be posting links down below in the notes down in the video description as to where you can download all of these free programs. I also want to make it clear that I do not recommend that you download and install all of these programs and then leave them installed on the computer. When you clean a computer out, you want to clean the computer out. If you install a bunch of programs and leave them installed, you're just adding to the clutter. So only install these when needed, use them, and then uninstall them to keep your computer clean and running at its peak efficiency. Now, as I have mentioned, I am limiting this list to just five programs. In the past, I've done 10, but to make this list a little more meaningful, I do want to do five instead. And so starting out at number five, we're going to talk about Hitman Pro. Now, this program should be higher on the list, but the only reason why it's not is because of this right here. It's only free for 30 days, and this is a free list that we're talking about. So you only have 30 days to use it for free, which is still worth it if you're dealing with a highly infected computer. But after that, you would have to use a different program or pay for the license. Now to use this program, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're just going to click on next and go with the default scan. We're going to select no, since again, we've only got 30 days to use it anyways. And then we'll click on next, and then it will go ahead and scan our computer. Now, one nice thing uh, about Hitman Pro versus other anti-malware programs is it does scan for tracking cookies. There's not very many that actually do this. And I know some people view tracking cookies as harmless. I don't view it that way. Regardless, it's garbage. And so if you're looking for a full, complete clean of the computer, this is a great program to run. And it also targets more serious infections as well. If it does find serious malware on the computer, it will actually turn red to let you know that it has a positive detection. Once the scan is completed, it will list the results if any are found. You'll just wanna make sure that you have the proper action applied. If it finds uh, malware on the computer, it will actually give you the option to quarantine as well. And then you can go ahead and click on next and we'll go ahead and remove those results and then give you a final report of what was done on your computer. Coming in at number four on our list is Super Anti Spyware. And this should be number five, but again, because Hitman Pro is not free past 30 days. Super Anti-Spyware will be number four. And a lot of people actually don't like this program, but let me talk about it a little bit and why I do recommend it. Now, first off, I completely understand that when it comes to the real-time protection, Super Anti-Spyware completely fails. In fact, there's a video on my channel reviewing the real-time protection of this program against malware samples. And you can go check that out again down in the video description. But that feature is part of the paid program. We're just talking about the free programs and so that feature doesn't even matter because it's not included in the free uh, functions of this program. Would I recommend Super Anti Spyware as a first opinion scan? No. Would I recommend it as a second opinion? Yes. Now like Hitman Pro, Super Anti Spyware does a good job of targeting tracking cookies, but it also does a good job of targeting Trojans as well. Another nice function of this program is it actually scans your computer. It scans your applications and programs specifically looking for garbage or bad programs that may be causing problems on the computer. And then you have the choice of whether or not you want to remove them. This is important because there's no scan out there in the world that's going to 100% detect everything. And at some point, you have to understand that you need to go into your programs list and check to see if there's anything bad that needs to manually be removed. Now to use this program, it's also very simple. We just click here to make sure the definitions are up to date and then we can go to scan this computer. And I do recommend that you do a complete scan. And then once it's finished, it will list any results if any are found and give you the option to remove them. Coming in at number three is Zamana and they've actually made a lot of improvements to this program. I actually am starting to like it more and more every year. Now, when you first download this program, it will automatically start a 15 day free trial of the premium version. And then after that, the real time protection will turn off, but you'll always still be able to scan your computer and remove any results with the free version that will always be available. Now, if we go into the settings, one thing I do like is right here, you can turn off displays of mana anti malware promotional messages. I really like that just because a lot of free programs can borderline harass you to buy their programs. And then also if you need to check for updates, you just click on this option right here to make sure that your definitions are up to date. The overall look and feel of Zamana is cleaner than a lot of other options out there. So I like the simplicity of it. 
and then once you're ready to scan you just click on scan now and it will scan your computer. Coming in at number two is MZSoft, which actually runs a little bit differently when you first install it. So I'm actually gonna show you how to start it up here. You'll get a Windows Explorer window like this, and then you'll need to look for where it says Start Emergency Kit Scanner. We're just going to double click on that to get the program started here. Now MZSoft is a really good program to use if you're dealing with a highly infected computer. It definitely targets those more serious, more difficult to remove infections. And so to update it, we just click on this green, giant green update box, and it will make sure that the definitions are up to date. And then to scan, we just click on scan. And if this pops up, you do want to click on yes, because we do want to always scan for PUPs, which are adware. And then I recommend that you do the malware scan. And then just like with all the other scans, it will scan your computer. If any results are found, it will list them and then give you the option to remove them. Now, before I get to number one, I also do want to mention that down below in the notes, down in the video description, I will be posting links to a bunch of free antivirus uh, programs that you can also install on your computer. Now, generally speaking, I do recommend that the average user just stick with Windows Defender. If you're looking for a second opinion antivirus scan, that's when I would resort to looking at that list. But after using the scan, I would then go ahead and remove the antivirus program and just stick again with Windows Defender. Coming in at number one is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. This really is my go-to program when cleaning out a client's infected computer. It's been a really good program for many, many years and is well, very well known in the industry. It really targets a very wide array of infections from just moderate to very, very severe, and it does a good job of removing them and not leaving traces behind. Now, one thing I do want to point out is if we go to settings and then over to the protection tab, there is an option right here to set it to scan for rootkits, which you definitely want this turned on if you're dealing with a highly infected computer or one that's just displaying a lot of symptoms or problems. To make sure the program is up to date, you just click on where it says current and it will Double check to make sure the definitions are up to date. And then to run a scan, we just click on scan now. And like always, it will scan the computer, list any results if any are found, and then give you the option to quarantine them as needed. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.